What up guys? I had a pie and I'm feeling better between the videos, so let's do this! I'm gonna be playing my warrior deck that I just built. This will essentially be part three of three for the deck building kind of tutorial thing. So, let's go. Garrosh is a douche. This is the deck I just built. Let's go into play mode and have a look. See how well it does. I'm feeling kind of confident about how it'll do. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I'm not too sure how the play ranking system works, so I might get thrown up against someone who's got a lot of cards and got a really well-built deck, or I might get thrown up against someone who's playing the mage deck with Murloc Beatdown, because, let's be honest, that's like the first deck everyone builds. Because everyone's like, hey, I have Murlocs, and hey, I have mages, and I've got a few extra Mur Murloc cards, so let's build Murloc mages. I'm kind of hoping for that, that'll be entertaining, but... And, you know... So, we'll see who we're up against. I'll give a quick little uh, Gul'dan to Warlock, so... The thing with Gul'dan decks is that I never quite entirely know what to expect, and that's a terrible opening hand. So I'm going to be ditching that entire hand. The thing about Warlock decks is because of their class ability to just draw more cards, I... Ugh. Alright, whatever. Um, because of their class ability to just draw more cards, that deck honestly has the potential to do, like, anything. So... 1 over 3 weapon. Uh, I'll go for the Priestess first. Yeah, that deck has the potential to just draw, like, anything. So they can pull off nearly any strategy they ever want in that deck. But the one thing to worry about with this deck is that it has a tendency to pull out really powerful minions for really low amounts of mana. As well as being able to flatten minions and... There we go. Voidwalker. 1 over 3. For 1 mana. And it also has the ability to flatten minions with next to no trouble, just based purely on the fact that... Sorry, I'm just doing math, um, based purely on the fact that they have some really powerful spells just straight off the bat. So I might as well just run into that, because he's going to attack me directly for one damage anyway, so... It's one less card for him to drop spells on. So yeah, so this isn't looking too great so far. This is looking pretty horrible so far. Now, that was actually a really odd play. Normally people save the Succubus until they have no cards in their hand, because then they don't have to discard anything. So, um, I have 3 mana. Give a damage minion plus 3 plus 3. I might throw out Warsong Commander, but she'll get flattened straight away. But, once again, I'm fine with that, because he will probably run into her with her. That Succubus is actually a bit of a pain. And this is also one of the things I was talking about, how you can pull out really strong minions for next to no cost whatsoever. This is looking really bad for me so far. I started up with a nigh unplayable hand, and I'm playing against a Warlock who has a tendency to pull out really strong minions really quickly. And I don't think I have any spells to help cope with that. And he actually didn't do anything about that, so I'm gonna... Pull you out. Run you down. Run you down. And YOLO swag. So, now he has to decide whether he's going to attack me directly for 4, or whether he's going to try and kill off my Warsong Commander. Because if he doesn't kill off my Warsong Commander, I can pull out anything next turn, and immediately make use of it. And it looks like he's going to kill my Warsong Commander. Nope! No, that was actually pretty decent. Now it'll survive the Warsong Commander. Clever. Clever. I'll give you that one. Alright, so what do I have on hand? I have Rampage. I have my Gurubashi Berserker. I have Sinjin Shieldmaster. The Gurubashi Berserker I'll probably save because Warlocks have a tendency to be able to, like I said, just outright flatten certain minions, so I'll probably save that for a little bit. I definitely need to kill that Succubus because she is a little bit of a pain. Yep, I don't think I'll use Upgrade. I'll save that until I have a Fiery War Axe. I'll try and save the Fiery War Axe and the... What do you call them? The... Arathi Weaponsmith? No. Spiteful Smith. I'll try to get all of those all at once, so I'll have a 3 plus 2 plus 1. So it'll be a 6 attack. Ah, oh, and we never said hello. Yes, and sure. Um, yeah. So with that out on the field, I'll at least be able to absorb a few attacks, and while simultaneously... Next turn I'm hoping I'll be able to pull out my Gorobashi Berserker, but depending on what I draw, I might save the Warsong Commander and the Gorobashi Berserker for some kind of combo. Because, give a damage minion plus 3 plus 3, that'll be great for the Gurubashi Berserker. So, what I'm trying to achieve at this point, because I've got the Gurubashi Berserker again, I'll be trying to focus as much as possible on him, because he has the potential to end games in one turn. I'll be He's kind of a boss monster at this point. 
So I'll be keeping, I'll be trying to keep him as safe as possible while I sort out my strategy for what I'm going to do against this guy. Come on, dude. You have five mana. Summon something and then draw cards. So yeah, if you're looking at this on face value, I'm on 18, he's on 30. That might seem like I'm in a really bad position so far. I started off kind of poorly, but I mean, it's kind of leveled out so far, so... Did he just go AFK, or what's going on? This will be a really short and kind of disappointing video if he's just gone. No, nope, he's still there. He resigned. Alright, so I'm going to have to record a second video. Okay. Alright, I won't even bother ending the video. I'll just go again. Excuse me for a second. <clears throat> so that was kind of disappointing. I don't entirely know why he quit, but I think he may have just had to have gone to do something else. So that was a little bit disappointing. This video is going to be a little bit longer than I was anticipating, but at least this time we might get a better opportunity to see what I can do with the deck. Who am I versing? Anduin. Anduin Rin. That's actually perfect for me because the Priest deck is built around a lot of low attack minions with quite a bit of amount. Quite a bit of amount? That's not even a word. Um, it's based around a lot of low attack minions with quite a bit of HP, which means I can trigger off my own enrage effects by attacking them. Which should be pretty good. Alright, so I've got a decent hand, decent first hand. I've got my wild pyromancer, but no spells to play with him. And I have got... Next turn will be two mana, so I'll save that mana crystal until next turn. I've got wild pyromancer, and I can play him next turn, which means I'll be able to start making use of the spells eventually. But I haven't got any enrage effects, so next turn I'll probably just throw out the coin and summon out Iron Fur Grizzly, so that way he has to kind of run into some stuff. Yep, it's looking like that. I'll save the Wild Pyromancer for when I can make some combos with him. Because I have no spell cards in my hand at the moment. Well, no class cards or whatever you call them. Spell. Yeah, there we go. I have no spell cards at the moment, so I can't make any use of him. If I drop him out, he'll probably get killed straight away. Acolyte of Pain. See, that means when I've played my Wild Pyromancer, he'll be able to draw some cards off of it. And hey, two can play at that game. But I think I'll throw out my Warsong Commander for the moment. Um, you have one damage, so I can make you draw one card, but I could also just attack you directly. I'll go for a direct attack. He can heal through most of that, but that's forcing him to use up mana that he pro might otherwise not use. Unless he's using the Voodoo Doctor. Gain control of an enemy min minion with three or less attack until the end of the turn. So he's going to ram. Clever. Yeah, I hate that card. Unfortunately, I don't have it. Which is a bit of a downside, but oh well. So anyway, he's got three and a two. Alright, damaged minions, acolyte of pain. I can throw out a Sinjin shield master just to be a bit more of a pain in the ass. Um, thinking that might be the way to go. Although, yeah, because he's about to flatten my... And we'll ram. Trade blows. You get to draw a card, but I'm not too fussed about that. I'm more so worried when he pulls out the um, North Shire Cleric, because that allows him. that's one of the key cards of that deck. It allows him to draw cards every time a minion is healed. And once that card comes out, I'll either have to flatten minions in one single turn, or... Huh. Alright. So that wasn't exactly the most optimum play of that card, because he didn't really get that many heals off of it. Um, what do I have at this point? I have Upgrade, I have my Garabashi Berserker... I have my Acolyte of Pain. I might throw out one of my Gurubashi Berserkers, because I've got the mana for it right now. And I'll attack you directly, because you have... Yep. And next turn, I'll just run over that... Ah, oh, what other cards does he have? He has Shadow Word Pain, I believe, which should immediately kill my Gurubashi Berserker. But of course, that's one less card to worry about. The more people use cards against my... Ooh, clever, okay. Won't fault you on that one. The more people use their spell cards against my minions, the happier I am, because it means I can more safely make bigger plays. Plus one, plus one. Oh, he's going for the opportunity to flatten me. Alright, um, once again, I don't think I have anything to cope with big monsters at this point. Alright, so I have her and Acolyte of Pain. Acolyte of Pain will be able to kill none of the above. However, I can just go... Problem solved. And we'll go for a Warsong. And we'll go for Wild Pyromancer. Which means I can go 3 damage though. Ooh. That's gamey. Alright, I'll do it. I'll bite. 
So I've got a Gurubashi Berserk with 4 HP, which actually isn't that threatening. But I do have the Warsong Commander out, who needs to die straight away, because otherwise next turn I'll have 7 mana, so I can pull out Acolyte of Pain and whatever else I draw, and or Gurubashi Berserker. And a second Gurubashi Berserker could be a real problem to deal with, especially given I have a Wild Pyromancer on the field. And because I've got the Wild Pyromancer, if I manage to keep this out... Ooh, clever. But, unfortunately for you... I can now do this. I have two mana left, so I can go upgrade. Hit everything for one damage. So, now I have five. I can go... He can attack for one, so we'll go one. Don't mind running you guys into this stuff, because you're going to die pretty soon anyway. And we'll attack with the Berserkers. Ah, I did it the wrong way around. Ah oh, well. Ah oh, well, that kind of worked. He unfortunately has a huge hand advantage, so I'm terrified of the Holy Nova right now. Because a Holy Nova would almost finish off those Berserkers. Because I believe it's 4 damage for a Holy Nova. Loot Hoarder, that's what it is. Death Rattle, draw a card. That's the card I was talking about in the last one. You really aren't using these Dark Scale healers to their optimum capacity, are you? Regardless, I've got an Acolyte of Pain and an Arathi Weaponsmith left, as well as having a Heavy Axe. Alright, destroy a damaged enemy minion. Okay, I might be able to go... I'll hit you, this will hurt me quite a bit, but it's worth it. And then execute. Yep, that's one less card to deal with. Uh, I've got seven mana left, so I can summon out both of these. I don't really need her right now, because she lets me do that, so I'll probably go Acolyte of Pain and Armor Up. And then I'll just go... Oh, he's got two damage, though. Hmm. I have five, eight. I can almost kill him, so I'll actually go for that instead. No need to buff up. Four damage. I can kill him with my warrior alone. With Garrosh alone, at this point. See, it's working out alright, especially with the Gurubashi Berserkers. But the one thing I'm kind of concerned about with this deck compared to my Priest deck, my Priest deck has kind of the same strategy with Wild Pyromancer and the Gurubashi Berserkers, but the difference is with my Gurubashi Berserkers and my Priest deck, they can be put up to like 17 HP. I've got a screenshot I uploaded to Facebook, which was a Gurubashi Berserker with 14 HP and 29 attack, and I actually attacked him directly for game with 29 attack, and that was kind of entertaining. So... I have no idea what he's... I think he was trying for an extra card to see what he can do. It'd better be a Holy Nova. Otherwise you're looking pretty bad. Because all it takes is one more direct attack and you're dead. Yeah, I don't think he's got anything to come back from this. Because I don't think he'd waste a smite unless he absolutely had to. So yeah, I don't think he's got anything. <laughs> he probably should have played that a little bit earlier before he used the smite. Hmm. See... <laughs> There's another side effect of playing trading card games for so long, you kind of hyper-analyze everyone else's plays. Change a minion's attack to be equal to its health. Ah, you could have got more out of that. Yeah, and he resigned, because he could have killed me. It's a fairly epic Twilight Drake, but other than that, it's not that great. So anyway, there we go. As exemplified just there, this deck actually worked out pretty well. I managed to get the plays off that I wanted to, which was the Gurubashi Berserker just absolutely flattening everything. And I also managed to... In the previous game, do absolutely nothing before the guy quit. So, yeah. So anyway, there you go. That's the conclusion to my little deck building tutorial. Uh, just to summarize so that you all remember. And because I've kind of got it written down the side here so I wouldn't forget myself. Um, there's some things that you need to think about. Uh, what's the goal? How do I achieve this? What cards do I have that'll help me achieve this? Do I want to use big creatures or do I want to kind of keep everything kind of on the level? Um, how do I cover my deck's weaknesses, and what cards can I use in the deck to help me get to the deck strategy quicker, like draw cards or that kind of thing. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, this video series as well. If you have, please like and thumbs up, feel free to subscribe. I'm uh, Content is a little bit slow at the moment, but I've actually ordered in a PVR, so I will be able to... So my friends and I will be playing Xbox games together, and doing Let's Plays on Xbox games, and we recently both bought Disney Infinity. Both of us being one of my friends, we bought Disney Infinity. And although the PVR got delayed, um, we'll be able to do that soon. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.